We lost 300 pounds by really optimizing across all the different subsystems. Biggest contributor was the body. The body structure itself went down 120 pounds. And we were able to do that by the use of high strength steels and also some very powerful computer aided engineering that allowed us to optimize where we were adding mass. We would go through and put it only where we needed it. In addition to that, being able to go from the 2.5 to the 1.5 turbo also provided significant mass reductions. The chassis components also allowed us to reduce their size and their mass. And mass begets mass. As you cut things down, you're able to further reduce. But every SMT from the electrical to the interior to the heating, ventilating, air conditioning system went down in mass. The vehicle is not only longer and lighter, but the enabler for both of those was the use of high strength steel. We used very strategic placements of press hardened steel, which gives us very strong properties. But again, we didn't need to use that extensively through the vehicle. We only used it where we're at. So today's uh, our current Malibu does very well from a safety standpoint. And this Malibu will continue that tradition. The new Malibu will offer you three powertrain choices. We'll start off with our base engine, which is a 1.5 turbo. It's part of our new small gas uh, engine family, which we're building and distributing and using globally. They range from one liter to 1.5 liters, will be the largest variant of that. Uh, and we're the first introduction of that in North America. It is gonna allow us along with the mass reductions to offer fuel economy of 27 city, 37 highway, and 31 overall. Secondly, we're also offering a two liter turbo, which will be more for the sporty enthusiast driver. We're gonna mate that with a new eight speed, uh, all wheel drive, trans excuse me, an eight speed transmission. And that'll be the first use of a front wheel drive eight speed in, in, in GM's uh, uh, history. And lastly, more importantly, the big story, the story that, that we wanna make sure uh, everybody is focused on, we will, we will be offering a true uh, hybrid for the first time in the mid-size segment market. And it's gonna be a, a hybrid that really takes not only the learnings from the Volt, but also takes a lot of their components and starts to bring them and apply them to, to our car. So we're taking uh, the power unit, the drive electronics, the motors themselves have been slightly respecified so that we can use them. We're developing an all new battery pack, which would be the most power dense in the industry. And we're gonna apply that uh, to our vehicle. And with that, the combined fuel economy will be north of 45. Uh, hold on to when we announce it in New York. We've taken the, the best of Volt 2.0 and we've applied it to our hybrid system. So some of the parts, the, the drive electronics are complete identical, we're bringing those right over. The uh, uh, brake regeneration system, the electronic AC system, all of those we're bringing over and applying them. We are modifying it though for our use. One of the best advantages that the boat has is it operates in two modes, where a lot of our competitors have one fixed gearing system that they try to balance between highway driving and city driving. The boat is really able to use two different drive modes. We're able to take that. We've modified the the motors themselves so that they can provide us more of an acceleration and assist as opposed to a pure EV driving mode. So our purposes are different, but we're taking the technology and the learnings and making them beneficial and making them more apropos to our customer base. While the new 2016 Malibu has a lot of stories, interesting stories to share with the public, one of the most interesting stories and one of the ones we're the most excited about is our new hybrid that we're introducing, sitting right behind me. And, and this hybrid is really one that we've built off of the learnings and some of the components from our Chevy Volt. As you know, our Chevy Volt is our entry into the hybrid extended range electric vehicle uh, market. And we're taking their learnings and some of their actual parts and applying them to meet our needs. The reason we wanted to do a hybrid and bring it into this segment is for this customer base, fuel economy is extremely important. And with the systems that we've taken from the Volt and applied them to our new Malibu, we're going to be having a combined mileage that will be north of 45. Hang on so we make our announcement in New York. With the 2016 Malibu, we're bringing nine new uh, safety technologies to the Malibu. A couple of these that I want to highlight are, the first one is Lane Keep Assist, which is built off of Lane Keep, uh, Lane Departure Warning, excuse me. So as you're driving down the road and you start to drift over the lines on the road, the forward looking camera can see that, sense it, and if you don't have your turn signal on, it assumes you're starting to drift over. So it will give you an audible beep and let you know that you're drifting over. 
With lane keep assist, if you continue on that path, the electronic power steering system will actually give you a little nudge and keep you in your lane. The second feature that we're also uh, offering, uh, that we're also bringing to, to the Malibu for the first time in 2016, is our pedestrian alert system. As you're driving down the road with speeds up to 50 miles an hour, the forward camera is looking ahead, taking a look at them. If a pedestrian comes out and you happen not to notice them, it will start to alert you both visually by uh, flashing lights on the windshield as well as audibly through shimes. And if you're not able to stop or you don't see them or don't react to that, it will automatically stop you before you hit the pedestrian. One of, the, one of the features that we're bringing forward with the 2016, and it's one of my favorites as a father of a 16-year-old uh, driver, is Teen Driver. And what Teen Driver allows you to do is you will go in and you will be able to match your fob to the driver. So then in the system, you're able to set alerts for both for, for high speed, so that it's a, above a certain speed, between 40 and 75 miles an hour, and out of both time will come on. You're able to limit how high the volume can be increased in the vehicle, and to me more importantly, and I think it's one of the clever ones, is the auto is muted and the radio will not come on until the passengers have buckled their seatbelts. So if there's a driver and a passenger, both need to be buckled before they can finally listen to what they want to listen to. Along with Teen Driver, there's also the ability to get an in-vehicle uh, report where you can go in and you can take a look and it will let you know how many times the driver has gone over the speed limit how many miles were driven, if there were any um, collision alerts that were, that were identified for the driver. So it's a good way to, as a parent, be able to work with your children to make sure they start developing very safe driving habits. When, when we were designing and engineering the 2016 Malibu, it became clear that the midsize segment is really starting to become a, a area where, where styling is extremely important. Our customers, you know, for a lot of them, this will be the only car they have. It's not like they have two or three cars. So it has to meet, meet a lot of needs, both from a spaciousness standpoint, but at the same time, it has to be a vehicle that they're very proud of owning as they drive up to, to their family's homes. So we knew that the balance between spaciousness and design was extremely important, and I think we've achieved that. I, we think the vehicle is gorgeous. We think both the interior and the exterior styling are beautiful, and yet the spaciousness that it provides is, I think, gonna be superior. On the 2016 uh, Malibu, we're, we're continuing and evolving our two liter turbo engine. However, this year we're mating that to an eight speed transmission. And it'll be the first eight speed transmission offered in a front wheel drive car for General Motors.